In this video, we'll run through all the features available while using the Cascable app. Once we click into the menu, we have many different options which we can adjust. First of all, we can adjust the exposure program. This gives us manual, aperture priority, shutter priority, and program. Next, metering mode, giving options like matrix, center, and spot. Drive mode, allowing us to change from single, continuous, vibration delay, bracketing, delayed, and manual. We can also change the AF mode from average to spot and even recall the hyperfocal point that you have set up previously in the camera. White balance gives us several different options which we can pick depending on our situation. File format allows us to change between the different formats on the IQ4, ranging from IQ16 Extended all the way down to IQ14 Sensor Plus. If we click Focus Drive, we can change the focus from the iOS device that we are using. We have three different arrows which allow for different amounts of change in focus. Zoom Live View can also be very helpful to zoom in to help us get this critical focus. Tethering mode is designed to tether to an iPad or to an iPhone and will disable the live view so the viewfinder on the camera can be used. Here we can see if we take an image, it'll be transferred to the iPad or iPhone you're using. Depending on the file type or the ethernet or wireless connection you have, this will give different transfer speeds. We also have the shutter robot, which includes features like self-timer, bulb, intervalometer, exposure bracketing, or recipes that you can design yourself. If we start Live View again, we can explore the Live View settings. The Live View settings allow us to rotate, flip, add the histogram, note for focus peaking to work, this must be turned on in the IQ4 digital back, and then it will be displayed in the Live View of Cascable. We can also add a grid and adjust the amount of vertical and horizontal lines that are present here. Finally, we have the remote control settings, which allow us to adjust the layout of Cascable. On the top bar, there are more settings. First of all, any calculations for neutral density filters or for sharp stars. We can also use this app to geotag our images. Once open, you will have to give permission to allow the app to take your location. Then when we capture images, it will match with the GPS coordinates and tag these into the metadata. We can also view any images that have been transferred to our iPad. Here we can star rate these images, view them, and zoom in for focus. And we can also select any images we may want to delete. Finally, we have our automated recipes, which we referred to in our shutter robot earlier. Here we can create these for any further use. Finally, under settings, we can adjust things like photo review, saying how long we want the preview to show for. We can also choose to auto save previews, review of each photo, and show and hide the histogram. We also have several options available for geotagging, and any other settings you may wish to change.